As we start to explore generative AI a little bit more, I just wanted to introduce you to some tools within Canva, which we already have access to. Uh, so hopefully you are aware that we have school-wide licensing for Canva. So when you log in with your school Google account, hopefully you should see that you're a member of the HKS team. Uh, perhaps if you've used Canva, Canva before, you may need to click on your profile and choose the team underneath here. There'll be uh, your name, but also another team there. So there's a couple of generative AI tools which are integrated into Canva already. Uh, some, of them are, some of them are a little bit better than others. However, it's a good place for you to start to experiment. And it's a safe place for your students to experiment as well. So they can also log in with their accounts. Some features are available to students. Some are just available to, to teachers, but they'll be rolling out soon enough. So the first thing we're going to play with is Magic Write. So if we create a blank document, this is just similar to a Microsoft Word document, Google uh, document that you may have used before. Uh, it starts off with a blank document, should look pretty similar to this. From here, we can press the Add button and we can choose Magic Write. This is only available as a premium feature, as you can see with that little icon, but as a part of educators and also as a part of uh, HKS, we do have access to this version. So I can click Magic Write and then from here, we can start to create our prompt. So remember with generative AI, uh, we do have a framework. We use the, the prep framework, which is just a guide really, as you start to, to engineer more prompts, you'll have a better understanding of how to develop a different prompt. We wanted to make sure that we give it some sort of context. So for example, I could say, uh, I am an educator who is uh, teaching science. Okay, so it gives it a little bit of context. It knows what you're trying to create. I would like to create a lesson plan on evaporation. We could also go into a little bit more detail. Um, perhaps we could say exactly how we would like it to output. Like we could say, um, you know, I'd like I'd like to start with a heading, of introduction, and conclude with an exit ticket. So depending on what format you'd like this in, if you just want a couple of ideas, that's something else we could do as well. So then I'm going to hit the generate button and this will start to generate an idea for me. Now remember with generative AI, we do want to make sure that we are going to, so I'll just delete that prompt. We need to make sure that we reflect on what we've written. So perhaps we want to have a look and rewrite anything, which we can do. So if I'm not happy with the introduction, I could again press that plus button and uh, get it to expand the text, rewrite something uh, a bit more appropriate to what I need. But we also want to review it for factual corrections, make sure that it is exactly what we, we mean. We are still experts in the room and especially for our content area as well. So this is now generated very quickly a lesson uh, plan which I can then create and develop a little bit further. The second tool that I'm gonna show you is the text to image or image generation. And this one's still in beta, so it's not quite as good as things like Mid Journey that you may have seen, but it's something that you can play with as you start to, to develop a little bit more. I'm going to click on Apps, and then underneath at the bottom, there's all these popular options. I'm going to choose that text to image. Once you have done that, it'll appear in your in your sidebar here, so it's, it's available for you in the future. So I'm going to, again, give it another prompt and say, uh, I would like a, an image to place at the top of my lesson plan. My lesson plan is on evaporation. And I would like this picture to be in a cartoon style. If you scroll down a little bit, there are some other options. So you, you could see all the, the different things. We could have a watercolor, we could have photorealistic, dreamy, anime, etc. Could have it landscape, which would work quite well for a banner image. But we could include that in our prompt as well if we want to be a little bit more detailed. So from there, I can hit create. This one takes a little bit more time. It does give you a couple of different options and we can always redevelop it as we go as well. Uh, previously, we also made a tutorial on how to make some banner images for Schoology as well. So if you haven't seen that one, please make sure you check that out as well. Okay, so now I have some nice images which are fairly suitable. They're quite colorful. Uh, so I'm gonna add in this one here. Click that one twice. So now I have my banner image. If I double click on this, it'll allow me to mask my image a little bit. So. Perhaps I only want that much of it to make it a little bit more stretched out. And I'll add in my title lesson plan. 
So now very quickly I've created a short little lesson plan. Uh, I've got a nice little image which, which fits in with what I'd like to speak about um, and I'm sort of ready to go with that. Now the next step might be uh, that you need to create a PowerPoint presentation or a presentation for you to present this content. So very easily from these documents we can create presentations. And again this is still a beta but it gives you a good sort of starting platform and if you've got some younger learners who are trying to present their ideas based on some research that they've developed, they can very easily start to, to do this and give themselves some templates. So in order to change this document now into a presentation, I go up to the top here and press convert. It'll give me some options for designs. If we have some brand templates set up, we could use those. But then from there, I can choose what, what would be appropriate for me. So I'm just gonna choose this very simple one. Hit create. And then from here, it's going to create all of my content divided up into different sections. Again, if I was a bit more specific with my, with my um, prompt and what I wanted to create in my lesson plan or I'd modify that lesson plan a little bit more into a, a structure which is more appropriate to a presentation then this would give me something a little bit more worthwhile but as you can see it's quite easily divided that up into slides and I can start to play with that design as well then you can start to get a little bit more fancy play with some of the elements drag in different sections colors tables charts etc to make that a little bit more uh, design worthy but that's just the simple sort of AI tools which are integrated into Canva. Uh, hopefully you're starting to explore with this. There'll be more and more tutorials coming up uh, on this. And we're also going to be running some professional development sessions in person as well to help you explore AI features.